Strategy Management Series. Video number 77 Strategy Formulation. Step 6 Strategy Selection Strategy List Refinement. Welcome back to the Ready MBA series on Strategy Management. In our previous videos, we have been discussing strategy selection, the sixth step in the strategy formulation process. This step consists of identifying and selecting courses of action that a company may choose to achieve its strategic intent, mission, vision, and objectives. In today's video we will explore the practical steps that the planning team takes to refine and prioritize potential strategies before moving on to the evaluation phase. Following a detailed analysis of both the external environment and internal factors, the planning team has identified potential strategies for the company. These strategies, drawn from tools like SWOT analysis and strategic frameworks, aim to address threats, leverage opportunities, and enhance strengths while mitigating weaknesses. Before moving to the next step of strategy evaluation, the team needs to ensure these potential strategies align with the company's vision, mission, and goals, as well as the strategic intent set by senior leadership. This validation step ensures that the strategies not only address immediate challenges but also resonate with the overall direction set by company leadership. With a list of potential strategies identified, the next step for the planning team is to prioritize and choose the strategies to advance. This is driven by the understanding that companies operate with limited resources and execution capabilities. Moreover, not all strategies offer the same impact or ease of implementation. Some may even prove unfeasible or lead to conflicting outcomes. To navigate this, the team begins by creating a list of all potential strategies. They examine these strategies for internal consistency, ensuring there are no conflicts or divergences. If such discrepancies arise, the team delves into understanding the reasons behind the misalignment. They scrutinize premises, assumptions, and supporting data to unearth any flaws in logic or analysis. If the strategies withstand this scrutiny, the team engages in discussions to prioritize conflicting strategies. Guided by the company's mission, vision, goals, and strategic intent, along with considerations of impact, benefits, cost, ease of implementation, and feasibility, the team makes informed decisions, eliminating the least attractive alternatives. The subsequent step involves the removal of redundancies and the consolidation of complementary strategies. At times, the team may propose strategies that share significant similarities in nature or goals, or exhibit only minor differences. In such instances, these strategies are consolidated into an overarching strategy, and redundant proposals are discarded. Similarly, strategies that complement each other are combined and re-articulated to encapsulate the entirety of the proposal. These initial selections are instrumental in streamlining the list of potential strategies. Following this, the team diligently assesses the remaining strategies for consistency with the company's mission, vision, and goals. This evaluation ensures that the chosen strategies align seamlessly with the overarching objectives and direction set by the organization. The planning team also needs to evaluate the strategic intent checking if the list of strategies identified not only align with it, but also help achieve the goals and aspirations defined by senior leadership. Usually, this alignment is likely, especially if the team keeps an open dialogue with senior management throughout the strategy formulation process, updating them on findings and results. This ongoing collaboration allows for adjustments to the strategic intent based on market and internal dynamics that may not have been initially considered by senior managers. However, there might be cases where certain aspects of the strategic intent are not covered in the analyses or frameworks. This can happen when senior management's visions introduce disruptive elements not captured in the initial analysis. In such situations, the planning team can consider leveraging deductive strategy formulations, as discussed in our earlier video on inductive versus deductive strategy formulation techniques. 
This approach involves framing challenges, formulating hypotheses, exploring possibilities, and conducting tests against critical barriers to choice. It provides a method to address unique aspirations outlined in the strategic intent, enhancing the overall strategy formulation process. Let's take a closer look at how the deductive approach could be used to help define supporting strategies to deliver on the strategic intent. 1. Frame the challenge. The team starts by framing the challenge presented by the strategic intent. What needs to be achieved? What are the potential roadblocks, challenges, and disruptions? It's about defining the problem landscape clearly. 2. Formulate hypotheses. Next, they formulate hypotheses that would make the strategic intent real. These hypothetical strategies address the identified roadblocks, challenges, and disruptions. The team aims for at least two mutually exclusive hypotheses to tackle opportunities or challenges head-on. 3. Explore possibilities. With hypotheses in hand, the team explores possibilities to expand the set of mutually exclusive options. For each possibility, they ask a critical question, what would have to be true for this to be a great idea? This exploration spans four key dimensions, industry, customers, capabilities, and competition. 4. Design tests for the barriers to choice. Once the strategic possibilities are outlined, the team designs tests against crucial barriers to choice. Barriers to choice are the elements in the strategic possibilities that are unlikely to be true. These tests could involve market research, reverse engineering, benchmarking, or pilot projects. It's about gathering real-world insights to validate the feasibility of each strategic possibility. 5. Conduct Tests the hypotheses are put to the test through the designed methodologies. It's a process of executing the planned tests, gathering data, and assessing the outcomes against predetermined standards of proof. By systematically following these deductive steps, the planning team defines the last missing strategic choices, ensuring they align with the visionary goals set by the senior leadership and can stand the test of real-world challenges. Let's consider one simple example to illustrate this process. Imagine a scenario where a tech company aims to introduce groundbreaking innovations. The framed challenge revolves around navigating the highly competitive tech landscape. Hypotheses are formulated, exploring scenarios like leveraging artificial intelligence, forming strategic alliances, or introducing cutting-edge products. These scenarios, in turn, lead to specific possibilities that include different AI-driven product recommendations, potential partnerships with established industry leaders or high-flying startups, the development of revolutionary new gadgets, or extending the current product line. Next, for each strategic possibility, a critical question is asked, what would have to be true for this to be a great idea? Four key dimensions are considered to answer these questions industry, customers, capabilities, and competition. Then, these possibilities are tested through evaluating market research and competitive reports, executing pilots for each possibility, evaluating customer responses, technological feasibility, and competitive reactions. Test results prove most of the strategic possibilities false and the company decides to pursue the acquisition of high-flying startups. Before finalizing the selection of strategies, the team undertakes a crucial task, evaluating the effectiveness of the current strategies implemented by the company. To accomplish this, they delve into the most recent strategy review documents, dashboards, and meeting notes. Additionally, the team conducts interviews with managers and team members, including senior management, to gain insights into the performance of existing strategies. This comprehensive evaluation extends to a thorough review of the current strategies, their objectives, and goals in light of the findings from internal and external analyses, as well as the strategic intent. 
The objective is to discern the successes and shortcomings of the current strategies, identify necessary adjustments in response to a changing reality, and determine whether certain strategies should be continued or discarded due to misalignment with the current strategic environment. It is essential to cross-reference these evaluations with other potential strategies to eliminate redundancies and address any conflicting or antagonistic strategies, as previously undertaken in the strategy formulation process. After finalizing this last step, the planning team now have an exhaustive list of strategies and would now be ready to select the ones to move to the next step of the strategy formulation process, strategy evaluation. In our next video, we will describe a few techniques that can assist the planning team further in selecting their strategies. Be sure to tune in. Until then, keep strategizing. See you soon.